Why don't you bless God for your family? Why don't you thank Him for another day in His presence? Lord, we are so grateful. We give you praise. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your name, O God. Oh, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Once again, I'm Pastor Dada, and I'd like to welcome everyone to this uh, night prayer. In Jesus' name, the Lord bless you. Amen. Uh, as I said earlier, today is family day in Canada. Woo -hoo -hoo. God is good. Amen. I want to thank God for keeping your family, keeping my family, keeping us healthy, keeping us going. He's such a good God. Amen. Uh, we want to be praying for fathers and mothers today. Last week, we looked at um, husbands and wives. And so, before we pray, I just want to share one or two things about roles of fathers and mothers. Uh, let's look at uh, Proverbs 22, verse 6. Proverbs 22, verse 6. It says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The most important work we have to do as parents is to teach our children in the way of the Lord. Fathers, mothers, my brothers, my sisters, this is a key responsibility we must not ignore. We must not ignore. Fathers, mother, teach them in the way of God, that is spiritual, and give them proper education. Give your children, this is the way I put it, give them values, not valuables. Teach them the principles of holiness, the principles of integrity, the principles of uh, 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 transparency, accountability. The, the, the nations are in chaos. Why? Because we have people in leadership, we have people as husbands, as fathers, and they have no clue about their roles and responsibilities. And so because they are not doing that one, instead of raising an eagle generation, we are raising a chicken generation. You know, I went to preach somewhere yesterday, and uh, I took some of the youth in the church, you know, and they were talking, they said, sir, <laughs> referring particularly to Nigeria. He said, they keep telling us we are the leaders of tomorrow. He said, but all the, them that are ruling since 1960, 1970, they are still the one ruling. Amen. And if they are even ruling us well, it will be a better thing. Fathers, mothers, we have a responsibility to give our children a good life and be a role model to them. Teach them to pray. Teach them to read scriptures. Teach them to fellowship. Teach them the fear of God. You know, in 2005, we have so much of violence and gong related killings in Toronto here. And I uh, remember we invited the police, you know, had a seminar with them, and I was telling them the genesis of this trouble is because we are raising people or children who do not have respect for God, who don't have respect for the sanctity of life. How do you just take a gun and shoot somebody because of $10, $20? Because you are arguing on $1,000, because you are arguing on a car. How do, we, uh, uh, um, how do we put it? How do we put a life of somebody uh, as an equivalent to, to, to a car of 10000 No. But because we don't, they don't have the fear of God, they don't go to church, they don't pray, this is what we have. We prefer to take them to all amusement parks, movies, and so on. I'm begging you, let's give them values, not valuable. Teach them not to steal. Teach them, and, and um, your, your preference is to always put your coat according to your clothes. When they don't need to get designers things, don't buy it for them. 
Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. You know, I have uh, 17 things here, or 11 things that I say the Father should be, you know, for the family. And I want us to know that when a man enters into a covenant relationship with his wife, he commits to the responsibility of loving and honoring that wife. And not just wife, but all the family members. So, as a father, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to be the priest. We are supposed to be the protector. The priest is somebody who intercedes for that family. They see you play that role. We are supposed to guide them. We are supposed to be the provider. You know, it may be tough, but these are the things that God expects us to do. We are supposed to be their teacher. Teach them in the way of God. We are supposed to be their companion. They should, we should be their confidence. We are supposed to be their playmate, their trainer. We are supposed to be their train, uh, uh, talent developer. See their values, see their potentials, and be able to guide them in what they should do. We are supposed to be caring, you know. And uh, we are also supposed to be their servant. And more than anything, we are supposed to be their disciplinarian. We should not shy away from discipline our children. We should not shy away from that, no matter what it is. We don't say you have to hit them, beat them, and so on. But there are many ways you can discipline them in a way that they will become what God wants them to be. You see, the truth is that researchers found out that overall, if the love of a child grows based on either the love or rejection, the mothers or the fathers, you know, put upon them. Amen. If we love them, they become very wonderful people. If we care for them, they become developed, they have balanced life. If we don't, then they become something else. And we don't want our children to be something else. Whether they are girls or boys, what you do to them, how you help them as parents matters so much in their life. Let me talk about mothers also. Mothers are, the roles of mothers is to protect the girls. You know, rather than over protecting them, giving attention to each child, you know, before they needed it. Sharing special times, doing things they individually enjoy, both quality time, you know, and the quantity time. Providing spiritual training, cultural opportunities, creating outlets appropriate to their ages, abilities, and interests. Value each child as individuals because God made them so wonderfully different, recognizing they are all had special needs. You know, I wrote an article, I said, we should avoid the, the, the mentality of uh, uh, Isaac and Jacob, you know, I mean, Isaac and Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca was showing his love and affection for Jacob. Isaac was showing his love and affection for, for, for Esau, you know, and that created uh, uh, all kinds of trouble in the family. No, they are all our children. We should not prefer them to, uh, above the other. It may be difficult, but that's the standard. That's what we should do. We should be proud of them. We should celebrate them. We should make them happy. Mothers, you are the heart of the home. Your heart must be there. You must be there for your children. Mothers, you are the light of learning. The role of mod the role mother, they go. You know, if a mother, you are always going for outing for party every every Saturday, every Friday. All you are looking for is one gilly here, one gilly there every day. Guess what those children will become? A mother, you are putting on tattoo. You are a father, you are putting on tattoo. What will they put on? The mother is a learner teacher. The mother is a creative recorder. The mother is a coordinator of responsibility. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. You know, I always like First Timothy 1 5. He says, All the, the, the goodness and quality he saw in Timothy when Paul was talking was as a result of the grandmother Louise and the mom Eunice. Whether you are a grandmother or you are a mother, you have impact on your children, and the Lord will help you. I put here roles of a mother. The roles of a mother is to lift up, you know, to lift up my child when they fall, to be my child's voice when they cannot find the words, to guide my child through the darkness when they cannot see clearly, to bring out the best in my child. To give my child the strength to believe in themselves. To help my child's dreams come true. To help my child stand tall. To teach my child how to have... Please put your line on mute if you are driving or something, please. To teach my child how to have uh, faith. 
that everything will be all right, to teach my child the importance of being true to myself or to themselves, to show my child how to soar through the sky, unafraid, to teach my child to have empathy for others. And I will do all this for my child because I love them. I love them. We must show that we love them. Even children, too, you have roles. The Bible says, Colossians 3.20, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6, uh, 1 to 2, says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment, with promise that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on earth. My wife spoke so much on this uh, uh, recently in a message. You know, the truth is that as children, you have two fathers. You have the father, the church, uh, the spiritual father, and also the parent, biological fathers. Each of these words matters to you. You listen to them, and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. What are the roles of in-laws and uh, brothers and uncles and teeth? The Bible says in Genesis chapter uh, 2, verse 24, it says, For this reason, the man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. You know? So you should know that when they have the, the, the nuclear family have settled, you leave them alone. They can make mistakes. You guide, uh, you, you, you let them develop themselves. Interference from brothers, from uncles, in decision-making processes of families have ruined a lot of them. Interference of parents, it doesn't matter whether you are a pastor, you are a mother, let them grow on their own. Pray for them as necessary as it is, but every day if you're asking them, how is your husband, how is your wife, how is this one? Once there are issues going on, they'll be forced to, to talk to you, and the issue is that you may first find yourself being judgmental, being uh, uh, on the side of one to the other side. Please, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I pray that our children will be what God wants them to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please, we have a responsibility to train these children in the way of God. Hallelujah. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Praise God. It is time to begin to pray this, after, uh, this evening. Let us thank God for your family. Maybe you are you say you are a pastor. I'm not yet a father. I'm not yet a mother. Well, you are in the right place. Amen. We create fathers and mothers here. As long as you are married, amen, legitimately married, God is going to give you children. God is going to make you happy. But today, for now, let's thank God for our lives. Mandi ribo shokuria. Yeki ribo so kurubo so kuriba bashinda. Maka sande libo kushiki ribo zo. Mozuria bashiki ribo zo kuriba shida. Yes, pray. I appreciate the fact that God made you a father. I appreciate the fact that um, there are many people who want to be fathers and they are not. I appreciate the fact that there are many people who want to be mothers and they are not. I appreciate that it's not by your power or by your might. It is the Lord who has given you this special honor and special grace. Thank God. Worship God for whom he is. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Please open your Bibles to First Chronicles. First Chronicles. Let's thank God from First Chronicles chapter 29. First Chronicles chapter 29. From verse 11. Thank you, Lord. First Chronicles 39. Hallelujah. First Chronicles 29, verse 11. Hallelujah. He said, Thy, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heavens and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord. Thou art exalted and as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over and in thy hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Thou, therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glory. But who am I 
what is my people, my, me, who should be able to offer so willingly after this sort of all things come thee. Begin to pray tonight. Magnify the name of the Lord. Magnify the name of the Lord. Exhort God for whom he is. Not just because of what he has done. Not just because you are able to drink water or not. God is the author and finisher of our lives. God is the God that controls the universe. Celebrate him. Lift him up. Thank God for being your help in the ages past. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you our God. In Jesus name we are praying. Amen. Please open your Bibles to 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34. We are still blessing God. First Chronicles 16 verse 30. Say, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. It is the mercy of God that has sustained your child. It is the mercy of God that has not allowed you to lose that child. It is the mercy of God that gave that guy the opportunity to be able to go to school and come back and be able to coordinate. It is the mercy of God that has helped you to yourself to be on this prayer line. It is the mercy of God that helps you to, 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 to know your left from your right. It is the mercy of God you are not on the spirit to bed tonight. Let's bless God. Rababo so korobo bo sheria. Ye kerebo so korobo bo shekeriba kashanda. Mande kelebo so kuria. Lord, I appreciate you, Lord. Lift him up. Lift him up. He said, Let our thanksgiving be more than our asking. Let our thanksgiving be more than our asking. My God and my Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rababo sundo robo bo sheke rebo sha. Ye ke rebo bo robo bo shena. Le ke rebo so ku robo bo sheke riba sanda. Ma kasin de kelebo ria. Le bosku robo sheke rebo zuria. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Look at Psalm, Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 121. Let's uh, bless God from uh, verses 7 and 8. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces for my brethren and companions' sake. I will now say, peace be within thee. Oh, sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth forevermore. Let's thank God who has preserved your going out and coming out and coming in. Let's thank God for the fact that you drive, you flew in the air, you, you, you cook in your kitchen, you ate your food, you slept, you woke up. Let's appreciate God for what he has done for your family. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Thank God for your pastor. Thank God for your father. Thank God for your mother. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for your children. Thank God for the expansion he has given to you. Bless be your name, O God. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let us ask God that every sin, look at uh, 1 John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, uh, 9 to 10, 1 John chapter 1, 9 to 10, he said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not enough. Let us pray tonight that Lord, every sin I have committed. Every sin my husband, my wife, my father, my mother my, uh, has committed that can be an hindrance in my life. Lord, forgive me, shall we pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, every sin I have committed, every sin that is uh, blocking my, he said my ears is not blocked, that I cannot hear you. He said, but your sins have separated you. Ask God to keep you away from sin in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let us ask God for mercy. Lord, as I proceed from this hour, you have told me to play my role as a father 
to play my role as a mother. I desire to do it, Lord. The mercy of God, the power of God, let it, Lord, be released upon me. There are, he said, many, in Proverbs 16, verse 1, he said, many are the things in the heart of man. It is God that can execute them. Except the Lord help you, my sister. You can't raise a child. Except the Lord help me, I can't raise a child. Let's call on the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. Lord, help me to, to be able to raise these children in a godly way. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Fill my children with the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Leko sakura babobo shoria. Maseke rebo soko riba kasinda rabakuria. Masanda rabakuro bobosh. Bosoko robo boshe de rebo soko ria. Maseke debo riaba. Mande rebo bobo shende rebo boshende rabakuria. Kura babo shende rebo soko ria. Mama 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 sanda. Leke rebo zoria. In Jesus name we are praying. Let's pray for fathers that God help us as fathers to raise our children. Help us to be there for them. Help us to be role models for them. Help us not to fail them. Help us to be a good guide for them. Help us to train them. Let's pray for our fathers who are husbands too. Let us pray for them. Let's pray. Let's pray. My father, my God. We lift ourselves as fathers into your hand. We acknowledge that it is you that can help us. We are supposed to be the provider. We are supposed to be the one to help the mothers, to help the, the wives to do what they need to do. Let's ask God to strengthen us as fathers. Let's ask God to give us wisdom as fathers. Maze ke rebo so kuriba bosha, ye ke se ke rebo so kurobo so kabashinda, male ke rebo so doria. We release the power of anointing upon the fathers in the name of Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's pray that we as fathers and husbands, we will not abuse our children. We will not abuse our wives. We will love our wives. We will take care of our children. We will fulfill the roles God has given us to be. We will not, we will not undermine them. He said, he said, he said, take care of them as of weaker vessel so that our prayers will not be uh, 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 hindered. Let's pray tonight, Lord Jesus, help me to see my mom. To see my wife, to see the mother as, as, as a weaker vessel, and to take care of them. Let's pray for fathers. Lift up your your dad. Lift up you, you yourself as a father into the hand of the Lord. Ask God. You need to play the role of fathers. The role of fathers is is extinguished in our community. There are no more fathers. Let's ask God to make us fathers. Masho korobobo. If you are a father, you are stealing. What do you want your children to do? My father, you are, you, are, you are stealing government money, stealing here and there. No, 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 that's not a father. That's a thief. Let's ask God that the fear of the law will come upon us as father. That we shall be what we need to be. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray that God will inspire us. In Jesus' name we are praying. When you go to the churches, you will see thousands of women. You will really see four or five men there. Where have they gone to? Ask me what are they what are men doing? They are not lead, a, a father that cannot live spiritually has failed. Has failed. We are want to pray for our father. Lord, bring them back to you. Every distraction in their life, lack of priority, everything that does not make them to know God as it should be. Lord, we come against you. Pray for the Father. If you pray for your, your wife, your husband as a father, the Lord, bring him back to God. Let him know God. Let him serve God. The time for church, the time for fellowship is not the time to be playing poker. It's not the time to be surfing internet. It's not the time to be, to, to, to be doing wrong things. When they don't hear the word of God, they can't be the right person. Let's pray for our Father that God will direct their spirit, direct their mind, bring them back to God. Let the fear of God raise in our fathers. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. We are praying for our fathers, Lord. The spirit to fear God. The spirit to know God. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Mighty God, in Jesus' name we are praying. How many homes? How many homes do you see fathers calling their children, calling their wives in our time and say it is morning, let us come and pray? Those times are no more. 
And these are the things that brought us up. That's where how we got to where we are. If we don't teach our children morning prayer, altar prayer, night prayer, what do we want them to become? Let's pray for our Father. The spirit to wake up. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of family altar. The spirit to be partakers and doers of the word of God. To raise these children. It's not just a talk show. This is a spiritual place. Let's pray for them that the spirit of God will drive us to do the necessary to do the necessary, to do the necessary, my heart bleeds. Yeah, can say, can oh, well, children are going to jail every day. Why? Because there are no fathers. There are no fathers. Marco, their fathers are in jail. What? Where do you want them to be? Marco, so korobo shoria. Pray, pray, pray for your husband. Pray for him as a father that he will be the true father that God has ordained him to be. That he will be the true father that God wants him to be. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. You know, many of our fathers, they don't reference God. You will find that they will, even if the wife wants to pay tight, the man will say, don't pay tight. And when the problem comes to the family, he begins to blame the wife and say, the wife is a wish, the wife is this. Listen, let's pray for our fathers and husbands to be responsible to God, to fear God. To give God what is... The Bible said, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar and put God what belongs to God. God is the protector of your family. Learn to pay your tithes. Learn to be faithful to God. You are not giving money to church. You are giving money to God. It is your security. We pray for our fathers. The spirit to obey God. In totality, the spirit to walk with God in totality, the spirit to obey God in giving, in, in fellowship, in prayer, in, in training, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's pray that God will make us as fathers, you know, trainers, trainers of our children, priests of our children, protectors of our children. Let's pray, brethren. Let's pray, brethren. All those things that we mentioned. Please, 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 Lord, make our fathers priests, make them protectors, make them providers, make them teachers, make them companions of our children, make them playmates of our children, make them trainers, make them talent developers, make them caring fathers, make them servants of the home and disciplinarians, and let them discipline themselves. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Let's pray for our mothers. We know that they have been doing their best. Let's ask God to strengthen the hand of these mothers. Ask God to strengthen their hand, Lord Jesus. Let them not be weak. Many of them are depressed. Many of them are overstressed. Because we, the father has abandoned their responsibility. The husband has abandoned their responsibility. And the children are, 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 are doing everything to frustrate these wives and mothers. Let's ask God to strengthen them, Lord. Ask God to strengthen my wife. Strengthen my wife. If you are a child here, pray for your mother. Pray for your mother. Pray for your mother. Maso korobo so korea. Let's pray for men that we will be able to be a blessing to our mothers. Lord, I pray for every mother on this place. Lord, they carry so much body, body for the husband, body for the fathers, body for the children, body for the in-law, body for this, body for that. Lord, they are overwhelmed. They are oversaturated. They are overworked. My God, give them strength. Pray for strength for them. Pray for power for them. They are the one to cook. They are the one to, 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 to dress. They are the one to go to for shopping. They are the one that we also go to church. They are the one. I mean, let's pray. Let's pray for strength for these mothers. Marco Rabo So Korea. Masike Rebo So Korea. Lord help them, oh God. Lord help them, oh God. Lord help them, oh God. Let them, oh God, in the name of, let them not break down. Let the power of darkness not rule them. In the name of Lord God, deliver them. Deliver them. Assist them, Lord. Send help from heaven. Send help from heaven. Build a home that they will be able, the husband will cooperate with them. The father will cooperate with them. Their body will be reduced. Their lives will be elongated. Their life will be more focused. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Masha korobo so korea. Yeke seke rebo so koriba bashina. Teach the mother that they will not be wayward. They will not nag. 
They will not do things that will not that will destroy the house. There are so many people now involved in all kinds of adultery. You know, they can't see any good, particularly in this community. They, they, they want to equate themselves with fathers, that frustrate fathers. Every spirit of feminism that does not help us. God will say submit. Let's pray that God will give them the grace of submission. That they will be able to value their home. It says soft answer turns away rough. Argument, too much argument. Too much talking. Crazy things that are not supposed to be like God will help our mothers. Where they need to be silent, they will be silent. Where they need to talk, they will talk. So that the children shall be what it should be. My God and my Father, I pray for all the mothers, Lord, on this line and beyond, in the name of Jesus, that you will give them strength to be what they need to be, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. The Bible says, First Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. It said, Eunice and Louise, the grandmother and the mother of Timothy, raised him in the way of the Lord. So it was easy for that boy to grow in the night cancer. That these mothers and grandmothers will be able to have time for their children. Will be able to teach these children in the way of the Lord. Let us pray. My Father, my God, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. That Lord, you will help our mothers, Lord Jesus. Robo soko robo boshida, yeke robo soko riba kasinde robo boshina. Oh yes, Lord, thank you, our God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Proverbs thirty-one, Proverbs thirty-one. Of course, the whole entire uh, time, uh, Proverbs thirty-one is for virtuous ladies, but we don't have time to pray all of the prayers there. But look at verse twenty-seven. Verse 20, it says, She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. We are going to pray for our mother, the Lord Jesus Christ. You will help them to look well to the ways of their household. They will not be idle. They will be strong. They will be strong. They will be virtuous women. They will be strong in the power of God. They will not fall sick. Sickness will not be their portion. A cancer will not be their portion. Breast cancer. A long cancer, all these cancers that takes away women cheaply, that God will, re will, re will reject it over our wife, we reject it over our mother. Shall we pray tonight? My Kosa Korobobo Shoria. Pray, pray, pray that they will not become widows. Pray that our husband will not become widowers. Makasande Rebobo, Rekepo Soko Riba Bashinda, Maleke Rebo Soko Riba Bashinda, Yeke Seke Rebo Soria, Lebo Soko Riba Shinda. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let God arise and this enemy be scattered. Let God arise and his enemy be scattered. Let God arise and this enemy be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Let's ask God, God arise today. Defend our homes. Defend our fathers. Defend our mothers. Every attack upon your home. Every attack upon your marriage. Every attack from the pit of hell. Let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. Enemy of your soul. And the household enemy. Those who say your children will not do well. Those who say your husband will be a, a, a flippant, flippant all over the place. Womanizing all over. We never see your home well. Spirit husband, spirit wife. Whatever is, uh, is militating against your home. Whatever is militating against the family. Let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Lord arise. Lord arise. Lord arise. Lord arise. Lord arise. Lord arise. Robo shoko robo shoko ria. Leke po sakambarababo. Reke po sakandarabashinda. Let God arise, O God. Let his enemy be scattered. Enemy of my children. Enemy of my wife. Enemy of my mother. Enemy of my husband. Enemy of my family. In the name of Lord Jesus. Reke posa. Makusa kandere boboshoria. In Jesus day we are prayed. Look at Psalm, Psalm 60. Psalm 60. Psalm 60 verse 11. Praise the Lord. Psalm 60 verse 11 says, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. Give us help from trouble. I don't know the trouble you are facing tonight. 
whether it's financial trouble, whether it's physical trouble, whether it's joblessness uh, issue. Lord, give us help from trouble. Deliver my home from trouble. Deliver my husband from trouble. Deliver my son from trouble. Deliver my wife from trouble. This is the day for the family. Let this family work well. Let this family be united. Every spirit that scatters your home, every spirit militating against your home, shine a kura sike pori basila. Ask God, Lord Jesus, our mama mama shoko Give me help from trouble. Give me help from trouble. Give me help from trouble. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Robo soko robo bo sheria. Masakandara babo she. Yeke rebo soko ria. In Jesus name we are praying. In Luke chapter 22, Amen. from verse 32 to 33, the Bible says, Jesus said, Satan, the enemy, Satan, uh, Jesus says, Peter, Satan wanted to sift you, but I prayed for you. Ask God to pray for your family. Ask God to intercede for your family. Wherever the enemy wants to sift your home, wherever the enemy wants to delay your children, delay your wife, delay your husband, delay your home, Lord, don't permit them. Every source of trouble to this home, shut it off, cut it off. Every arrow of the enemy towards this marriage, towards this home, God, I stand against it. I stand against it. Every battle of the family, every battle of this family, my God, give us divine solution. Pray for divine solution. He says, Say, Peter, Satan wants to sift you, but I have prayed for you. Mambo shoko robo bobo shoria. Yeke seke rebo so koria babo. Reke bobo bobo shoria. Masako robo bobo shoria. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Every, say after me, every power. Pursue me. Every power pursue me as a father, pursue me as a mother to destroy me. I stand against you tonight in the name of Jesus. Every power, household power, household evil, pursue my life, pursue my home, perish tonight, perish tonight. Every witchcraft spirit binding me, take control of your destiny, take control of your destiny. Every manipulator of my home, every manipulator of my marriage, I contend against you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Chekorobo Sokoria, Rekebo Sokorobo Boshoria. In Jesus' name we are praying. Every evil power of my father's house, every evil power of my mother's house, what are you waiting for? Fire of the Lord consume you. Fire of the Lord destroy you. Fire of the Lord frustrate you. Every part that says your children will not be as... Yebo sheke rebo soria. Mako sako. Leke rebo bobo bobo skoria. Masuria babo shenda. Yeke rebo soko robo bobo soria. Yeke rebo bobo sheke rabakoria. Robo soko robo sheke ria. Masike ria babo soria. Leke po sakuria bashinda. In Jesus they will pray. Every ancestral curse. Listen to me. Every ancestral curse, every curse upon my family that is making us to struggle. Children are struggle. Husband is struggle. Father is struggling. Wife is struggling. Hear the word of the Lord. Out by fire. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Oh, you spirit of struggle. You st st endless struggle. Why should you struggle endlessly? Struggling against finances, struggling against diseases, struggling against no enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Yako shoko robo shoria. Mako sakuri basi ke rebo bobo robo shoria. Yeke se ke rebo shoria. In Jesus' name we are praying. Every power, say after me, every power. Preventing me from enjoying the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. Die in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray tonight. Every power pre preventing me from it. God, God called you to enjoy him. He said, I've not called the, ch the ch children of Israel in vain. God didn't call you in vain. You are to enjoy your marriage. You are to enjoy your husband. You are to enjoy your children. 
You are to enjoy your wife. Every power militating against my home. That is not making us to enjoy ourselves. That is making a quarrel today. Every day, neighbors are coming to settle quarrel. Neighbors are wondering what, what is the essence of your, you going to church. Oh, Shakondo Robo Soria. Rekebo Soko Robo Bobo Soria. E Mashande Robo Soria. In Jesus' name we are praying. I want you to pray tonight. Every battle arising from my dream. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's pray for the children. Every battle over my children. Every attack over my children. Let it cease tonight. Let it cease tonight. Let it cease tonight. Let my children grow to know you. Let my children be established in the Lord. Let my children walk in the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Marco Soko Robo. All of them. They shall be outstanding. They shall know the Lord. They pray until pray until something happens. Pray. Are they in jail wherever they are? Call them out. Call them out. Those who are looking for job, let them receive the blessing of God tonight. Those who are looking for husband, those who are looking for wives, those who are looking for admission, let them secure admission. Let them get scholarship. Let, let it not be strenuous for you. In the name of Lord Jesus. Oh, Rababo Soko Robo Shuria. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's pray. We need peace of mind to train our children. We need money to train our children. Let's ask God, the peace my marriage needs. The money my marriage needs. The unity my marriage needs, Lord. Release upon us, Lord. As children, let's walk on the unity of God. Lord, restore family prayer to my home. Restore the spirit of prayer. The spirit of fellowship, restore it to my marriage. Shall we pray? If you're a husband and wife, you're on this line, make sure you pray with your spouse. Pray with your wife. Pray with your family. My God and my Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Robo Soria. Satan, loose your grip upon our homes. Loose your grip upon our families. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Reke poso korea bosha, yeke rebo bobo shoria, masakandara bakuria. In Jesus' name we are praying. The spirit of the Lord rest upon me. The spirit of wisdom. Ask God for wisdom. Ask God to prosper your home. Lord, prosper my father. Lord, prosper me as a wife. Prosper me as a father. Prosper me as a husband. Prosper my career. Prosper my life. There is prosperity with God. There is prosperity with God. There is goodness with God. There is favor with God. By this time next year, when they are doing family holiday, let me not be found wanting. Let me not be, 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 be willing. Let me not lose my children. Let me not lose my husband. In the name of the Lord, pray, pray, pray. Pray for your family. Pray for protection. Pray for protection. As you drive, like or not, there will not be evil downturn. Evil downturn in your life. Your life has been good and it continues to be good. Your life has been wonderful. It continues to be wonderful. Forbid tragedy. Forbid satanic vandalizer. Satanic killer. Ask them not to know you. Peel, I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. In the name of Lord Jesus. Moshe Karabakuria. Thank you our God. In Jesus name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Any prayer point from anybody quickly? Hallelujah. Any prayer point from any family or any person? Praise the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Release, let's release that job. That boy has a job. Let's release that job this week. That letter, that letter of joy, that email of joy, invitation, that telephone call of joy. Let it come to that son this week. 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 He said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. We release a good job. To this boy, in the name of Jesus, we release, we release the blessing of God. Lord, you said, he that does not walk should not eat. This one has degrees, this one has opportunity, 
Lord, remove every embargo. Embargo on him. Embargo on the mother. Embargo on the father. Embargo on the home. Embargo on the family. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. We are going to pray for all our sons and daughters that are seeking for admission. They are trusting God for wives. They are trusting God for children. Every embargo upon their lives. Be removed, shall we pray, brethren. Maso korobo so korea. I remove every embargo placed upon our children in the area of job seeking, in the area of initiative, in the area of career pursuit, in the area of admission, in the area of, uh, of child bearing, in the area of spouse. Every embargo go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Let's pray for Canada that God has given the wisdom of family. Let's pray for all families in this nation. Those who have not known the Lord that they will know God. All the family that have disorientation. All the government that are misruling and doing things that God will give them a better direction. Those When we talk about family, we are talking about the husband and wife family. We are talking about the true family. That's what God established. Every plan of the enemy to derail Canada from this way of God. There are so many undercurrent things going on. Bill 86, Bill 103. That God will frustrate those bills. Let's pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. Every bill that is not geared towards building a good family, a godly family, I stand upon this altar tonight. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I ask God to lift this nation up. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's pray for, 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 for America that God will help the, the new government. Let us pray. My Father, my God, we lift America into your hands in the name of Jesus. Let this government get it right. Let them be what God has called them to be. Lord Jesus, let them take America to a better level. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's pray for, the, for Nigeria. Nigeria is in dire crisis. There is so much recession, so much inflation. They don't know where the president is. There is so much uh, 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 lack of transparency in governance. Let us pray, Lord, visit Nigeria. Lord, redeem Nigeria. Every plan of the enemy to frost. We, many of us have our families there. Whatever happens to them happens to you. Many of you, every day you are sending money there. And they are never satisfied. Why? Because there is no job for them. Let's pray for development, economic growth, good infrastructure, transparency, integrity, that people will no more be stealing the money of that nation. And all those who have stolen the money, that God will deal with them. God will deal with them. God will deal with them. Masha Korobobo Soria. Build Nigeria, oh God. Build Nigeria, oh God. Build Nigeria, oh God. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The Bible said they shall prosper that do so. Let us pray. Father, we lift Jerusalem. We lift Israel into your hand. Lord, be with this country. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Kosha Kandaraba Korea. Blessed be your neighbor God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let us commit the International Gathering of Eagles Conference into the hand of the Lord. Lord, as we begin to strategize for leaders, for nations to go, for what we want to do, the resources, we need human resource, financial resource, that God, you have called us to raise an eagle generation. You have called us to build a people that will build a nation. Make it easy for us. Shall we pray, brethren? My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, we lift the International Gathering of Eagles Conference into your hand. In the year 2017, Lord, come and help us, Lord. Come and be our helper. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I want to give you another one minute to speak to your life, to speak destiny, to speak power, to speak healing, to speak deliverance. As we round up this uh, uh, prayer line tonight, Lord, visit me supernaturally. Lord, do only what you alone can do. Mako rababobo so koriabashinda. Yekerebo so koribasila. As I go from this day, Lord, let your mercy follow me. Let your goodness follow me. Let me see the goodness of the Lord. Ask for divine visitation. Ask for divine miracle. Ask for the mercy of God. Ask for the, your ministry to grow. Your career to grow. For big tragedy in your life. 
In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Father, I just want to thank you for tonight. I just want to appreciate you for what you have done in the life of your people. I pray for you tonight. Your family is blessed. Your family is blessed. Your family is blessed. Your family is blessed. I remove every curse, everything that tarnishes your home, everything frustrating you, your family. Go in the name of Jesus. Go and prosper. Go and excel. Go and do well in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. Go, Shekora Basakoria. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will be merciful unto you. The helper of helpers. The father of fathers. The mother of mothers. The Lord God Almighty will assist your marriage. Will assist your home in the name of Jesus. You will not weep over your husband. You will not weep over your wife. You will not weep over your children. You will not weep over your job. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. You will have money to leave. You will have money to serve God. You will be a soul winner. In the name of Lord Jesus. You will be exalted. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 We love you. God bless you. Thank you for being part of this. Continue to pray for your family. Continue to pray for the family of the nations. And God Almighty that answers prayer has answered our prayer tonight. There will be testimony. There will be testimony. There will be testimony. He has never failed. Hallelujah. We love you with the love of God. See you next time, same time, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. For adventure, you are in uh, the city of Toronto. Uh, by the grace of God, we meet every Sunday at uh, 94 Kehar Drive. And um, we have miracle services. We have wonderful time with the Lord. We build God's uh, people to be what God wants us to be by the grace of God. So please join us 10 a.m. 94 Kehar Drive, Toronto, Ontario, M9L1 N2. Hallelujah. Pastor Dada, we bless you. The number is 416-616-2425 and the website is www.cacbetter.com www.igoeministry.com Amen. And the email, emos.dada at gmail.com. God bless you. Bye for now.